The central dogma theory of molecular biology describes the two-step process, transcription and translation by which information in genes flows into proteins. In other words, the information moves from DNA to RNA to the protein. This course pick takes the word dogma and associates it with dog and ma. We use chrome zombies to represent the word chromosomes, and we use the nuclear symbol to remind us that the action is taking place inside the nucleus of the cell. There are 46 chromosomes in humans, so the clock provides a helpful reminder of this number. The first step is transcription, which is the synthesis of an RNA copy from a segment of DNA. So the double-stranded DNA molecule is partially unzipped, and an enzyme called RNA polymerase copies the gene's nucleotides, one by one, into an RNA molecule. It is often described as being like a process of copying notes out of a library book, hence the course pick drawing. The RNA is like a notebook, compared with the DNA represented by the entire contents of the library. This step occurs in the nucleus of a cell, to produce an mRNA, or a messenger RNA, molecule. The mRNA exits the nucleus and is translated in the cytoplasm. In this image, we see the transcription depicted as deciphering action by the library's transcribers. Their heads have an appearance of a T. The messenger boy represents the messenger RNA. The messenger boy exits the nuclear library with the information into the cytoplasm plaza, suggestive of an mRNA moving from the nucleus into the cytoplasm for further processing. Translation is the second stage of the central dogma theory. This involves RNA relaying information to the protein. The illustration shows a proteam suggesting protein, receiving the delivery at the dogma factory. The floor of the assembly line is the same yellow color as the cytoplasm plaza. Translation is depicted by the translator, who interprets the instructions from the mailman to the chrome zombies. In the cytoplasm, the ribosome translates RNA sequence information into amino acid sequence. This includes both large and small ribosomes. Here, we see the floor color of the assembly line resembling the cytoplasm area from before. The protein includes large and small chrome zombies, with their ribs showing. Transfer RNA, abbreviated as tRNA, brings amino acids to ribosomes during the translation process. Here, the tRNA is linked with the word train, which is bringing materials to the rib zombies working during the translation process. The result is a completed dogma, or the result is the complicated dogma or dogma. It's well known that zombies being dead and all have a hard time making friends. So the chrome zombies have decided to build pet... It's well known that zombies being dead and all have a hard time making friends. So the chrome zombies have decided to build pet dogs for all the zombies who are lonely and want a companion. They decide that female dogs will be more friendly, so they set off to the dog center to learn how to make a dogma. They locate the library, named the Nuclear Library, and search all the books for more information. Because the library is powered with nuclear energy, it can be dangerous for anyone to stay in the room for long periods. A countdown clock on the shelf reads 46 minutes, so the chrome zombies need to hurry. As the chrome zombies look through the books on how to build a dogma, one of them finds a book on the topic, but she can't read the writing. It is written in a symbolic language unknown to her, so she goes to the checkout desk to ask the professional T-protein transcribers for help. One of the transcribers pulls the symbols from the book into his transcription machine. When the transcription comes out, it reveals full instructions on how to order dog parts. Fantastic! The other professional T-protein transcriber fills out an order form and hands this to a messenger boy.